What's up guys, X is here, uh, coming at you with a little nice tutorial. Just basically we have, I'm going to show you guys how to do a little explosion thing. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, I did it on Tyro's app. So it goes right here and then bam, it's a little circular thing. Has like a little magnification, really nice. Uh, OG, I, I think I've seen a few people do it, but not a lot. And you know, you can't even tell. Uh, so we're gonna go on After Effects right here, and this is the clip. This is the same clip right here. Tyro's uh, little suicide, Semtex cancel. Pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. And what we're gonna do is right here, we're gonna find where he shoots, and we're gonna make an adjustment layer. So to make an adjustment layer, I just can press Control Alt and Y, or you know you can go to Layer, New, and whatever adjustment layer. And then we're gonna trim this by clicking on Alt and begin bracket and if you don't know what the begin bracket is no nope, not that one it's this one that's begin bracket so alt and that and it's basically going to cut it for you uh, so we have it there and then we're going to mask it out so we're going to go right here we're going to click it and make sure it's you're holding down the, the left click and it's all of this is going to pop out and you're just going to make sure you you click ellipse tool or whatever the fuck and then you know you get some nice little circle circular thing but it's like really hard to make it perfect so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down shift and you're just gonna drag and by holding down shift it basically makes this perfect circle so after that we're gonna duplicate this mask and to duplicate this mask once you do it automatically it should pop up mask one if it's not if it's showing up like this just click M on your keyboard and M will show all the mask and this is masking right here if you don't know what it is you're a beginner it's uh... you're basically cutting a part of the layer and you're only letting that part of the layer show so we're gonna go to mask one and we're gonna duplicate the mask so there's two of them oh well what did I do alright so right there you have two masks and you do this by pressing control D at the same time to anything to a layer and it will duplicate the layer but right now you can't see the other mask because it's on top of this one so yeah it's the same thing you duplicated it and we're going to search up for magnify on your effects and presets tab right here we're going to click and drag it and we're going to get this little fish eye type of thing to uh, fix that we're going to get the size and just bump it up to like a thousand something and now you have this little cool uh, magnification here and this is where mask 2 uh, comes into play right here where it says add you want to click subtract so now it's, it's going to look like nothing happened and you just want to uh, double tap M on your keyboard so you're gonna press M twice or MM and all of this is gonna show and max uh, mask expansion you're gonna drag it down and it's basically gonna give this cool outline effect so make sure your move tool is selected you know drag this kind of to the middle and then we're gonna press S for scale on the keyboard so S and then you can actually control how from how small you want this to be so I think that about there is fine. So we're gonna keyframe, click on the stopwatch and go 20 frames forward. So to go 20 frames forward, you wanna hold down shift and go page down. Or you know, you can just manually drag it in or whatever the fuck. So I think about there is fine and we're just gonna make this a lot bigger. Hold on, let me change the position real quick. Make it so you can't even see it anymore. I think it's fine there and then you're gonna get you know this little animation where the guy shoots and you know there's this little thingy and then the score pops up but we're gonna make this a little bit better by adding some levels to it so we type levels up we drag it up in our uh, adjustment layer and then we just click this little arrow right here and make it you know it's gonna make it like a lot more glossier and shinier and prettier and sexier <laughs> uh, so you get you know this little thing about here and then you know you can play around with it always be playing around with things uh, you can add an effect to a clip to the clip so it doesn't look so solid so maybe a twitch uh, then again this is gonna look a lot better with color correction and real smart motion blur if you want me to do a tutorial on, real, on my real smart motion blur settings that's fine I don't know any request I can do a little tutorial on this transition right here pretty simple it just goes chill and uh, yeah if you enjoyed the tutorial you learned something from it leave a like and uh, 
subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>